Who doesn't love music? I love music, you love music, this guy definitely loves music. But something so universally enjoyable can become an almost universal headache when it comes to using music for your content. Vlogs, gaming videos, travel videos, these all require great music to make an entertaining product. But where do you find that music? You know you just can't pull in your favorite track. Do you pay for a music library? Do you beg your favorite independent artist to let you use one of their songs? Do you use one of 180 lo-fi tracks that have been made available for free for creators to use without fear of copyright takedowns? I'm sorry, what? Yes, for those of you who don't know, creator Harris Heller of the Alpha Gaming YouTube channel recently released Stream Beats. Stream Beats is a collection of copyright-free music that anyone can use in any creative endeavor without fear of having your live stream taken down or your video demonetized. You can stream the albums on any music service and high quality files are available for download in the Alpha Gaming Discord server. There will be a link for that in the description. That is amazing, but what I really want to talk about today is how to leverage a tool inside DaVinci Resolve so that this amazing library of music is never more than a click away. So I have a normal file folder here with the six current Stream Beats albums. Again, you can find these in the Alpha Gaming Discord, but you can really do this with any batch of audio files. Right on your edit page, next to the Media Pool and Effects Library, you have the Sound Library. When you open this panel for the first time, you will see a prompt to download the free sound library that Blackmagic has made available. This is a pack of sound effects made for those doing traditional film work, walking on pavement, doors opening, that sort of thing. If that's something you want to check out, go for it. Adobe has also made a massive library of sound effects available for free, and info on both of those will be in the description as well. But here we are in the sound library, and we are going to press these three dots in the upper right hand corner and click add library. Then I'm going to navigate to where all my stream beats tracks are and click select folder. It will scan and then add those clips to your sound library. And now if I just type Harris or Heller, you will see all of those stream beats tracks. From there, you can preview any of these songs and even set a star rating to note your favorites. You can't sort by rating as of now. I would definitely like to see that in a future update. But after we find a song we like, we can drag it from this window right onto our timeline. And it will add it to the timeline and to our media pool. So it takes a little bit of work to set up, but now anytime you need a music track, you can click on your library, browse these songs, and find something that suits your video. That in itself is very cool. Saves you a few minutes every time you need to pull in a music track. But remember, you can pull any audio file into your sound library. You can build your own meme library of clips you plan to use on a regular basis. Say you're editing a gameplay video and get absolutely bodied by an enemy. Or you're making a travel video and your vehicle gets a flat tire. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please drop a like. Did you already know about Stream Beats or not? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more tips like this or full tutorials covering features of DaVinci Resolve or video editing, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks.